question regarding uh, yeah. question regarding the practice session yeah. what will be exact uh, schedule like uh, on ground it will be practice or even technically you will be like grooming the uh, uh, the coaches uh, can you repeat and again yeah, yeah. what will be the exact schedule of uh, practice session for yes. coaches and it will be on ground also and off ground also yes Yes, it is uh, regarding technical uh, thing. Will be yeah, it's uh, technical, and uh, you know we are always talking about a football learning uh, process. Yes, and in the football learning process, you are, you have your technical things, you have your tactical things. Uh, what are you doing at what age, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, yes, so the technique is coming in, technical things are coming in, but it also depends on the level of the coaches how mm -hmm. far uh, we can uh, we can go, of course. Mm -hmm. And again, back to your question, uh, a lot of practical, a lot of practicals, uh, practicals. That's that's the best way uh, for for learning, because you can talk a lot mm -hmm. about football, but uh, they are not moving in the classroom. And here on the pitch, players are moving. And based on what you see, what can you do, and how can you help the players? Mm -hmm. That is in general the thing what we are doing in the practice. What do uh, you think about the Goan players, especially who is representing uh, the India team and also, lots of uh, players who have represented India and also representing India at present. So, will you think more people will come forward from Goa? Do you think that type of uh, like players we have in Goa? Oh, I, 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 it's too, it's too far from me to hmm. say something about that. But uh, you know, uh, Goa is a. It's crazy about football. A lot of children they are playing football over here. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's logical that when you are practicing a lot, that you find talents and you continue. That there are a lot of players are in the national uh, in the national team, of course. But you have to find out how many talents do you miss, yeah, because I think around India, in the uh, let's say in the rural area, there are a lot of talents and we don't know where they are. So this is your uh, first time in India uh, practice session or uh, what? No, I was working in Bangalore for for almost five years yeah. in the academy and also for a, a club in the high league, uh, second high league, and yeah. uh, and I was here. Uh, so besides that, besides these four or five years, I was I was already for this program in different parts of India. Yeah. yeah so not only here but also in uh, Maharashtra, Mumbai, yeah. Delhi, uh, wherever. So, uh, how uh, thing uh, do you uh, more important uh, this type of uh, coaching section for a grassroots young footballer? Yes, we are uh, working with uh, kids from six till uh, when they become adults. So the football learning process takes uh, starts at six and ends at nineteen. Well, it never ends, of course, but uh, yeah, in general, we are working with youth. Yeah. yeah. So it's come to know that uh, Dutch uh, Football Association has proposed uh, for coaching section in Goa. So why, why particularly you choose like Goa only for coaching? Ah, that is, uh, you know, the, the, the KMP, they have a department and that's World Coach. So they are across the world and they are always searching for partners uh, 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 in, in football. And uh, now they found a partner in the, in the government of uh, of Goa, uh, and it's not only for, for this, but they want to bring a, a bigger program because we think we see a lot of things across the world in educating football and teaching football uh, with youth, uh, where we think yeah, we can do it better. Uh, so one more thing: uh, nowadays FIFA World Cup fever is all over in the world. Yeah. So uh, you are the last few years back part of the Dutch team, no Netherlands team. Hmm? A Netherlands team. Yeah. You, are the, you are the part of last few years back of uh, Netherlands. How you see the uh, Netherlands team uh, 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 position in uh, World Cup? Now? Yeah. In this in Qatar? Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, the, the, the coming game is, of course, it's always the most important one. Uh, and I guess Argentina. Yeah, you can lose and you can win from Argentina. Uh, it depends on the day. I think the levels of both teams, both countries, they are close to each other. Uh, they have a big difference maker. So if Messi uh, is, is on his best that day, then it becomes already uh, very difficult. But we have a chance because, uh, uh, you know, not always the, the best players have the best team. Uh, so we will see what is happening on uh, coming uh, coming Saturday. Yes. Yeah, it's interesting. Yes, thank sir, you. So yes, your sir. point of perspective, the growth of football in India. My, you want to have my opinion? Oh, yeah. 
Uh, I think the most important thing if you want to develop football is uh, to have infrastructure. So you need pitches, of course, and you need coaches who are uh, educating and teaching the, the children. I don't believe in uh, to bring uh, the big names and to coach in the ISL uh, for the future. Of course, for the, sh the short term, maybe it can help. But for a long term, uh, then you need uh, infrastructure in football. You need a lot of good coaches who are working with the youth. Uh, and I think that is the big thing, because what I see in India when I was working here, that a lot of kids, they start playing football when they already are 13, 14, 15 years old. So they are missing the period from 6 till 13 years old. And I think that is the most important uh, part, uh, developing, uh, the, especially the techniques. And uh, so th I think that is something what, uh, what India can do, uh, where they can make next steps. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Sir, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yes.